Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day, or one of the plays of the day in here. This is A-R-A-Y. A nice mover in here today for a stock that really uh, normally doesn't move that much, actually. <laughs> this is a pretty sizable bar for this stock on the day. Just take a look at it here. You can see from the tip to the top here, 649 is the high, low is 599. And really, uh, this is getting into the later time of the day here where you should probably uh, be either tightly, tightly trailing something or completely all out of a trade. This did get to the target. The target was $6. It went one penny under it. Could this get to the next target? Sure. But again, you have to look at the time of the day, what the market's doing, what ARAY is doing, how much extension it's had in the full body on the day. And that's what I take into consideration when I'm looking at something like this for an exit. But it actually was fine today. It was a snail this morning, though. I tell you, it was like so snaily that I didn't even know if it was moving at a, like a couple points. But let's just go back here and look. So here's the ARY. You could have taken this a couple different places in here. Nice entry in this, boom, down. And you could have gotten out a lot of this here. If you did not, or you got out of half, you could have rallied back, done an ad, and you could have actually added back what you took out, or you could have done a full ad on top of it anyways, or you could have gotten all out and all back in. And then it finally went on to target. I, I saw that hit that 610 number this morning and I thought, I know this is going to go to $6, but it did rally back hard. I mean, you see this here. So this is all short covering. So here's where the stock opens, has a weird looking bar. This is a machine, starts to sell off. Okay, it was a bearish gap that rated well per my rating system. So I was looking to short it, and that's what I did. And then this rally back here is short covering. And it holds beautifully, actually. This is, this is perfect now that I'm looking at this here. So you could have taken more in this here, and then it went. So again, have to be considerate of a lot of factors once you're waiting for a trade to go to target. But if it's not doing anything wrong, which I said umpteen times in the room this morning about this, you can stay with it. But if you have to get out early and you want to trade quickly, it went down and had a drop in the morning and you just take it wherever it goes into the first drop, watching the exit signs, uh, which I teach in the class, looking for the targets to see if it hits a target, time of day, market, all of those things. You combine all that information together if you really want to look and be concise with your exit, specifically in the morning. But I had a high level of conviction this would go to $6 today. Now, I really didn't know if they go to the next target, but I knew $6 was very realistic for this to go today. And that's exactly where it went. One penny under, it's basically went to the target. And it's almost 1 o'clock here. So nice move here in the day for A-R-A-Y. Very nice bearish move. Again, you can do gaps, which is what I trade, like the A-R-A-Y. And you can do them, and you can do them, and it doesn't matter what the market's doing. Why? Because if your stock is a good gap, whether bullish or bearish, and again, I like to do the shorts, it should work and have the correct move in something, irregardless of what the market's doing. And the market's rallying today. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all, but uh, this continued down, broke a new low, all the whole time the market was rallying. So a lot of weakness in the stock, nice rated gap today, worked fine, was a snail. Every once in a while you have to be patient. Like sometimes you have to be patient, you're in a trade, you're up money and you have to be patient. And it's not doing the wrong, you don't want to take it off even though you're up profit because you know it's going to continue and go to the next number. So sometimes you have to be patient. That's not something that I do that often or I, have, I like to do that often, but every once in a while you will be required to be patient. And you know, and it's not going to move. So here's the ARAY, nice golden gap here today in this nice bearish move. This was one of the stocks with show plays of the day. If anyone has any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is November 8th and 9th. If you would like to pre-register for that, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I'm running a special that ends today on the Gap class. And uh, if you'd like to sign up for that, you can email me back as well. It expires at the end of business today. And happy Halloween, everyone. Have a fantastic day tomorrow. Have a fantastic, safe holiday uh, weekend. Have a great night tomorrow night. And uh, make it a good close here, strong close at the end of the month. Looking to do that myself. Uh, nice day here today, and we'll see what we get tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.